<laughs> we got a phone and antenna and we get to talk to the astronauts today. What an amazing project. And uh, there's some people I want to thank for helping bring this morning uh, to fruition and uh, mention a few things. And then uh, I'm going to turn things over to Dr. Clute and um, everything will line up and uh, we'll get the program started as the physics allow. Some housekeeping things right behind me. We have the ladies' locker room, the men's locker room, and the facilities. Uh, that's where that's a good place to go. We also have some restrooms down there. Um, the way we'll leave uh, today will be through the vestibule, which is the front door of the building. Uh, slowly, if we ever had to, in the unlikely event, leave quickly. There's two exits to my left, your right. Let's see, uh, some of the visitors today I know of, uh, Mayor Lockwood was coming by, um, if he's here, yell out, he's not here yet, okay? Now I understand we have friends from uh, schools that we love and trade students with sometimes, uh, Kings Ridge, I think we have somebody from there, or visitors from there, Brandon Hall, yeah. on stage, and in the audience. Uh, let's see, Westminster. Fantastic. Any schools that I missed that might be visiting today? All right, I think we got them all. Well, how do things like this uh, happen? Um, I got to tell you. Um, you know, it comes down to um, the heart of any independent school, and that is the teachers. That's what makes any independent school work, or any school at all, if you ask me. And we're fortunate here at Mill Springs Academy uh, to share some of the best teachers that Atlanta has to offer. And Martha, you were to my left, science teacher, and uh, Free upper level, which is seventh and eighth grade. Were people applauding? You know, she started out with an idea, I think it was a club, a ham radio operating club. And uh, here, here's some people that know about it, and uh, some of the experts that are here today took their time to educate uh, and bring something new to our students. And here's how ham radio works. Here's how you can get a license. We had some students take the test and get their license, as I recall. Oh, one right here, Sam Wolf. And uh, we'll see why we have to yeah. Yeah. And you know, from that thoughtful idea that a teacher has, students that want to excel in some way, it turns into this day where uh, all of a sudden we have this tremendous collection of experts and we're going to connect to an international space station and have students from our school and other schools question them and live will communicate. Uh, who knew that would be happening? And that's where it comes from. So Mark